Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review and yes, that means today we got three videos in one day because you know, why not? But in all seriousness, I saw this mod pop up on the Nexus and it looked super interesting to me so I figured, hey, I might as well throw up a quick little mod review because it's really cool. And I jumped on it pretty quick because according to the Nexus, I was the first download. Now, I don't know how accurate that is, but whatever, it's still pretty cool. So the mod we're checking out today is the 22 Long Rifle Pistol by Ronnie Magnum. And if you've played Fallout New Vegas, you will recognize this pistol as a classic Fallout weapon. I loved using this thing in the early game of New Vegas. It was the quickest, easiest access to a suppressor, and it had great critical hits. Now you can experience that again in Fallout 4. Here we are taking a look at this thing in game, and it is absolutely beautiful. It is a great recreation of the Fallout New Vegas style, except with a little bit of a twist. It has completely new iron sights, and I actually really enjoy these. The raised post makes it super easy to line up your shots, and you need that for a weapon like this with such low damage. I also really like the engraving on the back here. It actually uses vanilla deliverer animations, but I think it fits perfectly. Everything lines up super well and I like it a lot. So this thing is really awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats for this thing. So here it is, the base damage is 14, it shoots 22 long rifle ammunition, which is added via this mod has a fire rate of 66, a range of 101, an accuracy of 61, a weight of 2 pounds, and a value of 120 caps. Now that is a really low damage. However, I think this is great, especially if you run a load order like mine. You find this thing super early in the game as it is added to leveled lists. You can find it on enemies, traders, or in loot crates. And for a mod list like mine where everything does really high damage. I find a lot of times running something like a 45 caliber pistol will sometimes one shot a raider if they don't have very good armor. So running something like this, you won't kill them in one shot every time. However, I have increased headshot damage. So playing sneaky and stealthily with a suppressor like this early on in the game and picking your shots to make sure that you land those headshots makes this a pretty viable weapon and a very cheap one as well. So I would like it. I like this thing a lot. It's super cool and the model and texture are beautiful and it's just awesome to see this thing again in Fallout. In terms of modifications, we have a nice little assortment here. We have a handful of receivers, standard, improved, hardened, and advanced. Advanced will get you to a total of 28 damage, so double the standard. For your grips, you have standard and original, which has a nice little engraving on it. And then you have for magazines, standard and quick eject, which will give you, of course, a better reload speed. And that's it, and that's all you really need for this thing. And now let's test this thing. So usually we test against death claws and I'm gonna try that. So <laughs> I don't expect it to fare super well, but I am curious nonetheless. So we'll start here on the left with the base version of the weapon and only 14 damage per shot. Let's see how it fares. It's actually not as bad as I suspected, probably only two mags. Look at that, we still have one bullet to spare. Let's go ahead and try this with the advanced receiver and see how it does. So this is embarrassing. That was the advanced receiver. <laughs> so we're gonna do this one backwards. That's your max potential. Here's what you're doing <laughs> with the base version. As you'd expect, it's gonna take four, almost five mags with this thing. All right, so there we are. Very clearly a big difference between the two. And even with the fully upgraded one, I wouldn't be taking a Deathclaw on one to one. Although I have no pistol perks, so maybe you could actually make this thing pretty viable in the late game, but you just have to test that out yourself. So yeah guys, that's the 22 long rifle pistol. So happy to see this back in Fallout 4 and an awesome mod by Ronnie Magnum. So if you enjoyed this mod and you wanna try it out yourself, it'll be linked in the description as always. And Go out there, support your mod authors. If you enjoy this mod a lot, go download it, endorse it, and donate if you can. It's because of them that we get to enjoy such amazing mods for Fallout. It's so late in its life cycle. So do anything you can to show your appreciation because mod authors work tirelessly to give us such amazing content. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe, all that stuff that gets us into the algorithm and gets more mod recommendations to the people that are looking for them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Peace.